for the ODSP raise, could, could you live on 1200 bucks a month? You know, we uh, we made a commitment uh, that we would address ODSP. We made a commitment uh, through the campaign. We're delivering on that commi commitment. We're doing we're doing what we said we would do. Uh, we're adjusting it also for inflation. The question was about uh, Minister, do you think you would have a, a good life on, on twelve hundred bucks a month? The question is, what can we do for the people of Ontario that are the most vulnerable? This is a step in the right direction. Uh, this is a direction of adjusting it to inflation, in addition to the multiple uh, pro uh, programs and services that we have to support the more uh, vulnerable. Yeah. I would highlight that we also that we also included in, in, uh, in the budget that we've retabled the promise that we said we would keep. I faced you folks uh, just a few months ago saying, this is the budget that I would take to the people of Ontario. This is the budget that uh, the people of Ontario voted on, and it's the one we've retabled. That we uh, we also included in that budget 127 million, which is the fifth round of social services relief for the most vulnerable, including many on ODSP, to provide supportive housing. So I think this is uh, just one thing that we're doing to make sure that we help those most vulnerable in society. But Minister, five percent is like fifty-eight dollars a month for an adult who only has one thousand one hundred and sixty-nine dollars per month to live on. They, they have uh, an ODSP diet, tips to have one baked potato a day with no butter, to drink a lot of caffeine for an appetite suppressant. I mean, people are not thriving or surviving even on ODSP, so how can you justify only adding 58 bucks a month? Well, listen, I understand that the environment is difficult and challenging, and that's why we made a commitment to increase it by 5%. That's why we made a commitment to adjust it to inflation. We're one of three provinces, only three provinces that are doing that. So we're taking action. Of course, we'll continue to monitor the environment that we're in. As I said, as I just said, we have a lot of supports, whether it be housing, vision care, dental care, you mentioned diet. We have health care supports. We have a range of supports. Can we always do more? Absolutely. That's what we're here in government to do. This is the thing that we said we would do. This is what the people of Ontario voted us to one, do. One more question, though, on it, if I may. And, you know, you, you gave people a rebate on license plate stickers. We don't have to pay 120 bucks or whatever it was anymore. That's costing the coffers a billion dollars a year. Don't you think that billion dollars a year could actually help people like those on ODSP more than, you know, the average person who, yeah, 140 bucks is nice a year, but it's 14 bucks a month. It's not that much, right? No, listen, I, I understand the environment for a number of Ontarians are in. Uh, and so that's why we're doing a bunch of things, not only the ODSP, which you've raised before and others have raised, and we listened and we made that commitment, and here we are. I'm standing here delivering on that commitment. But we raised, for example, for those who can work, the minimum wage. We reduced the tax that people pay up to 50000 So for lower-income workers, we reduced the tax. We introduced tax credits to help our seniors age at home longer, to provide care at home. We provide a jobs training tax credit. We're helping through a range of, of, uh, of programs and services to, to help many, uh, many Ontarians who uh, need help in their day-to-day -day lives. Minister.